CNC Worldwide presents Good morning, Flower City. This is Topher Jankersio with your Wednesday CNC Sports Rock Report. The Rochester Lancers today announced that goalkeeper Joe Capinos was named to the Major Arena Soccer League's Team of the Week. Capinos held strong defending the Nets in a critical weekend facing the top Eastern Division opponents. He earned a thrilling win on Sunday afternoon against the Syracuse Silver Knights, recording six saves and only four goals to an offense averaging nearly seven goals per game. He also recorded 13 saves in Baltimore on Saturday. Rochester forwards Joey Tavernese and Andrew Hoxie also received honorable mentions. Capinos and his twin brother Jamie are in their first season with the Lancers. They also made history in Baltimore on Saturday night. Trailing late in the fourth quarter, head coach Doug Miller pulled goalkeeper to be replaced by a field player. The difference in this case, goalkeeper Joe Capinos was substituted by his twin brother Jamie, marking the first time ever that twins played goalie in the same pro indoor soccer game. The two Rochester Americans, goalie Matt Hackett and forward Matt Ellis, who were called up to the Buffalo Sabres on Monday, will remain with the team while on its four-game road trip. Both players were on the ice in the 4-1 at Calgary on Tuesday, with Hackett serving as the backup keeper to Johannes Enroth. Hackett, who began the season on the injured reserve with the Sabres, returns to Buffalo after joining the Americans in January with his first three starts going 1-2-0. Hackett earned his first win of the season with a 21-save performance in a 3-2 victory over the Adirondack Flames on Friday. Ellis is on his second recall of the season after appearing in four NHL games prior to the All-Star break. The Sabres played in Edmonton on Thursday. Did Seattle Seahawks running back Marshawn Lynch achieve his goal on media day of not getting fined? An NFL media insider reported on Wednesday that Lynch could be subject to a fine for wearing a quote beast mode hat during his media day appearance. It will be reviewed following the Super Bowl. ESPN first reported that possibility of a fine. Players are not allowed to wear hat brands that conflict with league partners on the field during post-game press conferences at league events, such as the Super Bowl media day. For the New England Patriots, quarterback Tom Brady is fighting a cold. He said his family has been sick and he brought the sickness to Arizona. Brady added that he will be fine. He's getting a lot of rest and using old remedies like a lot of garlic. In high school basketball on Wednesday, Gates Childlight defeated Grease Olympia by a 49-32 score at Olympia. Luke Strong led Gates Childlight with 17 points and 9 rebounds as Cameron Turner added 16 points. For Grease Olympia, Anthony McEwen tallied 10 points as he had also 2 steals. Gates Childlight improved to 3-9 while Grease Olympia fell to 2-10. In high school ice hockey, Gates Childlight downed Penfield 4-1 at Genesee Valley Arena on Wednesday. Colin Moriarty gave the Patriots a 1-0 lead in the first period with a power play goal. However, the Spartans came back and tallied three times in the second stanza to take control of the game. Mike Klim scored the hat trick for Gates Shilai with his third goal coming on empty net as the Patriots pulled their goalie for an extra attacker in the final minute of the game. Gates Shilai improved to 11-5-0 while Penfield dropped to 5-9-2. So that's everything that's going on in the world of sports right now. Just a couple things I want to cover. Patriots, okay, should they be worried that Tom Brady has a cold? Probably not. We all have a cold in this time of weather, especially where we live, you know, in Rochester. Cold's not a big deal, so I think he'll be fine. <laughs> sort of also funny about Marshawn Lynch because he made it such a point that he wasn't going to get fined because he has his own policy where he doesn't talk to the media, which I totally respect. And so, yeah, he was forced to go to media day, and all he said was, I'm just here so I don't get fined, and he said it 29 times. What? <laughs> But he wears a hat, and he's going to end up getting fined anyway. So, really, there was no point. He just should have not gone to media day in the first place and just taken the fine. So, that's it for me today, Rochester. Um, I'll be back on tomorrow. Remember to follow me on Twitter. Uh, you can tweet at me and uh, send me an email. Send me some comments, uh, what you want to hear me talk about. You have a great day. That's the CNC Sports Rock Report for today. This is Topher Jankersio reporting. Come back tomorrow for the CNC Sports Rock Report.